The Utah Launch Complex was a Cold War military subinstallation of White Sands missile range for USAF and U.S. Army rocket launches. In addition to firing Pershing missiles, the complex launched Athena RTV missiles with subscale test warheads of the Advanced Ballistic Reentry System to reentry speeds and impact at the New Mexico range. From 1964 to 1975 there were 244 Green River launches, including 141 Athena launches and a Pershing to 281 km altitude. Utah State Route 19 runs through the Green River Launch Complex, which is south of the town and eponym of Green River. Facilities <laughs> 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 Originally 3,450 acres 1, hectares, the installation had several separated areas Contunement area The post area had the entrance, headquarters and other offices, a fire station, telephone exchange, housing, and maintenance facilities. Prefabricated buildings seven were for supply, a telephone exchange, an engineer and transportation use and 59 trailers were used as bachelor offices quarters, offices, a mess hall, a laundry, and a latrine. City of Trailers Athena Storage Area Adjacent to the containment area were storage facilities for the Athena missile rocket motors. E.g., Theocolex M33 E8 caster rocket stage, augmented by two Theocolex M19L recruit for the first stage. Athena support at the Army's Green River installations was the responsibility of the Ogden Air Materiel Area OOAMA at Hill Air Force Base, where ammunition igloos stored Athena rocket motors. OOAMA calibration specialists deployed to the Green River site. Athena launch complex facilities approximately 5 miles from the entrance of the site included a blockhouse and 3 concrete launching pad each with a rail movable temperature controlled steel building green river pad 1 38.9417 degrees north 110.0776 degrees west 38.9417 minus 110.0776 Green River Pad 2 38.9413 degrees north 110.0753 degrees west 38.9413 minus 110.0753 41 launches February 10 1964 to September 25 1969 Green River Pad 3 38.9426 degrees north 110.0741 degrees west 38.9426 minus 110.0741 49 launches November 28 1964 to September 17 1971 safety zone A fallback Area extended downrange as a 12,000 acre 4, hectares safety zone for impact when an Athena malfunctioned during early flight, e.g., the second Athena RTV fired May 1963, was destroyed shortly after launch. Gaia site The Pershing launch complex with positions 1-1, 1-2, 1-3 and 2-1. 2-2, 2-3 where vehicles e mobile launches, were emplaced for firings. The Pershing area also had a landfill. Green River Radar Complex A government instrumentation site was five miles to the southeast with radars, telemetry, optical systems, frequency monitoring, and other equipment an organization was the Radar and Communications Division. CF. A separate instrumentation site on a mountain ridge near the northern border of the facility. For tracking. Range Communications Station Charlie 401 Meteorology Compound A 500 feet 150 meters meteorological tower was on the complex, which had NASA's High Resolution Wind Measurement Program Pistol range 
The complex had a firearms range e.g., for military police proficiency. Related off-post sites included the nearby Civilian Atlantic Research Corporation assembly area at a 1940s, 50s Union Carbide Uranium, Vanadium facility outside of the Army complex where the company assembled Athenas as the prime contractor. Atlantic's support operations and missile assembly area of approximately 25,000 square feet (0.57 acres) included a missile assembly building, payload assembly building, support operations building, balance building and storage area. A water tower was also in the fenced compound, the Athena Booster Drop Zone 1 FUDSJ08UT3006 in San Juan County was a downrange impact zone. For the Athena first stage booster to nominally land after separation, 32 residents in the zone were evacuated for one half hour or less, e.g., ranches were given per diem. The impact dispersion area lay about 45 miles southeast of Green River, between the Colorado River and the north edge of the Manti Lazel National Forest with approximately 5% in Canyonlands National Park. The drop zone for Athena Stage 2 was located in New Mexico. Green River Complex personnel also oversaw operations at Utah's White Mesa Radar Complex and a Pershing launch site and safety area in southeast Utah. The Black Mesa Missile Launching Range had 34 firings May 26, 1965 to November 13, 1968, from 38.6078 degrees north 110.5980 degrees west. 38.6078 minus 110.5980 on Gilson Butte operations relocated to Green River in 1971. Topic <laughs> background: White Sands Proving Ground began off-range firing with a 1956 Rascal missile launch near Orogrande, New Mexico, to an impact zone on WSPG CF, a 1960s MGM-29 Sergeant launched from Daytel, New Mexico. In Texas, an AN, FPS-78 radar emplaced with the 195 Exxon, FPS-17 radar at the Laredo Missile Tracking Site for WSMR tests was used in the 1962 Cuban Missile Early Warning System later used for Athena, ABRES, Pershing missile launches began at the Atlantic Missile Range in 1960, and in 1961 Air Force Systems Command AFSC began the Athena missile program. As part of the Advanced Ballistic Reentry System ABRES program. The 1961 target tracking radar was used to create recordings of radar reception from Cape Canaveral warheads, chunks of the booster rocket, and nose cone decoys during reentry for use as simulated ghost missile input during WSMR's Zeus synthetic intercept. Program. WSMR LC 38's discrimination radar and the 1961 target tracking radar from the Nike Zeus program were later used as part of a re entry signature studies program. <laughs> <laughs> development Selected by Carlos Bustamante, in September 1962 the Green River site was approved for Athena subscale tests of ABRES. Land acquisition was initiated by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Sacramento District in late December. In 1963 the ABRES program became a national effort. And by July 2, 1963, 1,600 acres (650 hectares) was granted by the Utah State Land Board. The Bureau of Land Management granted 11,098 acres (4,491 4 hectares). Support structures, utilities, and roads were built by Olson Construction Company during a $1,235,072 contract, and facilities eventually totaled over $3 million. Off-site, the 1963 Holloman AFB program for Athena, ABRES installed two 3-megawatt dual-frequency L-band and UHF radar systems. 
by Continental Electronics AFMDC's RAM site at Rhodes Canyon and the Stallion radar site located uprange on WSMR were used to obtain the cross-range aspect of re-entry data. A USAF tenant was assigned to Green River as part of AFSC's Air Force Ballistic Systems Division at Norton Air Force Base. In California, the original Atlas 576 SMS ICBM pad with Gantry became the Vandenberg AFBABRES complex in September 1964 to launch ICBMs for re-entry vehicle RV testing moved from the Eastern Test Range for the Green River site. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Operations. The first Athena launch was February 10, 1964, from Pad 2 which failed, and fell near Durango, Colo. CF, the Pershing launch November 1964 that landed near Creed, Colorado and the second firing in May, was destroyed shortly after launch. On July 8, 1964, the first, successful Athena, ABRES test missile from the site landed at WSMR at night for optical tracking of re-entry. A September 11, 1967 Pershing landed in Mexico, as did a July 11, 1970 Athena that landed in Durango Operation Great Sand returned Mexico Cobalt 57 contamination—60 drums to a WSMR site, the support and maintenance contract for the containment area transferred from Dynelectron's Land Air Division to Bendix Field Engineering Corporation on February 1, 1965. In 1966, the series of test firings was rescheduled to last through 1967. The new contract extended Athena operations beyond the original 77 launches contracted for $65 million, to have 36 additional launches for $14 million. On May 13, 196X, from the Gaia site, a Luftwaffe missile wing German, launched the 300th Pershing. Topic aftermath Following the Green River Complex last launches Athena in 1971 and Pershing in 1975, Pershing launches moved to Fort Wingate, New Mexico. For a time the Army leased several containment buildings to the city of Green River to which a Loki Dart missile was given and is exhibited at the city park, a similar 1970s radar discrimination technology RDT program was begun by the Lincoln Laboratory, and the Green River complex was on caretaker status 1976-86 when the site became inactive in 1979, the base was officially deactivated in 1983. A March 1983 site inventory was conducted by David G. Buchanan and John P. Johnson, assisted by Sergeant Marge L. Sexton. The report identified 6,309 acres, 2,553 hectares of exclusive use property and 11,872 acres, 4,804 hectares of co-use property. The Green River test site was placed on the Federal Agency Hazardous Waste Compliance Docket on June 27, 1997. By 2003, when part of the original 3,450 acres of land was owned, leased by White Sands, some was also state school trustlands and BLM lands, the containment area was being considered for declaration as excess property. By 2007, the annual intercollegiate rocket launch competition was being held near Crystal Giza on former Green River complex land, where 37 buildings remained in February 2014, such as the reinforced concrete blockhouse building 50,207 for Athena Pads 1 and 2 buildings 50,253 and 50,291 which also remain. A draft assessment for demolition of the site's buildings was completed in 2014. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Current status. Part of the former launch site now houses the Green River Uranium Disposal Cell 1 and holds radioactive material from the nearby UMTRA project in Moab and several other sites. <inaudible>